Hello guys and welcome to another video! It's Thursday again and I'm Stefan Persson in Fensia, in case you didn't know. And last week I was meant to do a video, but I didn't. Because I got hit by COVID! <coughs> Yeah, it's either actually. I was out for the whole week. I laid in bed, felt really sorry for myself, but I finally got use of uh, my Netflix subscription. I don't really watch most of the time, but uh, now I got a lot of use for it. So I took a big trip down memory lane, watched a lot of old videos, and uh, even Back to the Future trilogy, very, very good. Karate Kid for some reason, the old one, the first one. Anyway, this week I'm gonna do a quick little video because I'm still recovering here. So uh, this week I'm gonna do a little Blender 3.0 low poly in Penzia style to Mixamo because I've had a few questions about that and it's not really that complicated. But I thought I'll do a little video about it and show you how I do it to get the, the textures and stuff with it. Here we go again. Ready, steady, go. Tab into edit mode. It select everything. Automator we need first. Scale, G, move it. I don't know if you remember this, but for episode 91 of the 10 minute modeling challenge, I revisited the mech theme and I did a robot style character with a little rig and uh, I did a lot of uh, rendering back then as well. I did the EV rendering to get that little nice glowy ambient occlusion with bloom and everything like that. So I modeled a character in that episode. Check out the link in the description to that video, episode 91, if you want to do a recap and see that one in a little bit slower pace than it's uh, <laughs> rushing by on the screen right now. So it takes you through all the modeling and creating a basic armature. And this basic armature is really easy to animate. And I usually like to keyframe all my animations myself. I like it that way because I can get the creative control of how the units are going to behave. But you can actually upload this rig and it will work pretty good in uh, Mixamo as well. So I started Blender 3.0 and I loaded up my episode 91 of the 10 minute modeling challenge, the revisited mech character. Again, like I said before, if you wanted to see this mech being modeled and how I created the armature and rigged this character and did the weight painting, then check out that video. I'll put the link in the description so you can click on it straight away. It's a very basic armature and it's really good in that sense that it uh, doesn't have a lot of extra bones and it's got a very basic inverse kinematic setup only for the legs. So moving the feet will work and also raising and lowering the torso will work. All the other bone rotations are just uh, straightforward and uh, weight painted as normal. <laughs> I went to file and export as FBX file and usually I select the armature and the character only. So you just name the files, tick selected objects, and then I do apply scalings and I usually set it to FBX unit scales. Everything else I leave pretty much as default and I hit export. Note that the character is facing forward in the Y direction. Then I went to the Mixamo website, I did upload character and then I just dragged my FBX files into the upload slot and waited for it to upload. So once I've uploaded it, there are a few issues. For example, the weapon doesn't follow along and also the backpack is stuck in place and it doesn't have any of the coloring that I've got. If you've followed any of my other videos, I've got this palette texture and that doesn't seem to be uploading by default, but the actual animation of the character itself works. So it's pretty close there. If you've followed my previous videos on how to export to Unity, those settings will not work for Mixamo. When I tried that, it ended up with getting huge feet for some weird reason and everything just was totally broken. In order to fix the backpack, I merged it with Ctrl J into my main character and then I selected the vertices and then I pressed Ctrl G and set the active group to Spine 2 and then I pressed Ctrl G again and then I assigned those to the active group. That way it'll follow the weight paint of the actual character itself. When it comes to the material, if you have any fancy stuff going on there, then it probably will not work. So make sure that you just have the basic palette texture and plug it into the base color. That's the most important one. If you have stuff like ambient occlusion and stuff there, it may not work at all. Once you've exported the FBX file, copy the palette texture into the same folder and then zip those two into a file name of any name. Just make sure that the FBX file and the PNG file, the palette texture, is in the same zip file. That's the most important thing. Instead of uploading the FBX file now, drag to upload the entire zip file with the palette texture inside. For this character, I didn't actually include the weapon now because most of the Mixamo animations are without weapons at all. If you wanted to test it with a weapon, then do the same as we did with the backpack. Merge it to your character. You may have to apply the mirror modifier first and then apply your weapon. Do the weight painting so that it's got 100% weight paint onto the vertices of the weapon and that those are assigned to the right hand. You can see now that uh, we've got some issues with the lighting on this one and to fix that it's just that the metallic and specular settings were too high so I went back into the material settings and I lowered metallic and the specularity and then I just exported it again. So 
So export FPX, overwriting the same file name with the same settings, just make sure you've got the selected objects and this time I only have the armature and the character itself. Then we have to zip it again, so I deleted the zip file, packed the FPX file and the PNG file into the same zip file and then we upload that one again. And there we go, all that weird shininess is gone and we're pretty good to go. Then I just spent some time testing it out with some different animations and uh, I always like to keyframe my own material because I find it quite difficult to get motion capture to work with my characters. But I have to say, looking through a lot of the animations, it does work surprisingly well. It also comes with some customizations, so for example, if the arms are overlapping or penetrating your character, there are some controls to adjust the character arm space for example. So there are some different settings for different animations that may or may not fix any issues that you're experiencing with the objects cutting through each other. But overall I'd say that I was really happy and I tried a lot of the, especially the dancing animations for some reason because they're a little bit longer. And then I also tried some uh, combat animations and I played a little bit with the sliders to do the overdrive and the energy levels and everything worked pretty good right out of the box. So that's pretty much how simple it is. Just make sure you put the texture file in the same zip file as the FPX files. Keep most of the settings as the default settings. Don't do the Unity settings for the export because then it will not work. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this week. Super short video, I know. Sorry about that. Apologies. Hopefully I'm uh, grinding myself back into the right gears and we're going to get started now with another 2022. It's going to be exciting because now I've had this whole COVID uh, thing gone by and hopefully the restrictions will lift. My family actually all got it too. So sorry about that family. Uh, my apologies. They uh, didn't really suffer as much as I did. Uh, my wife a t tiny bit. Kids didn't even notice it that they were positive. So hopefully everyone will get, get back to normal now, things will get back to normal, videos will be getting back to normal. And uh, I hope you stay safe everyone as well and that you get through it good as well. And uh, until next video, take care and I'll see you then. Next Thursday, 7 o'clock CET as usual. Until then, have a great one and bye for now.